just going to look at a few trickier examples about using indices and the main rule we're going to use in this video is the rule that if we have x to the a all to the b that's x to the a times b and we're going to kind of use that in reverse by taking a something which is in, the, which is in the, this form and putting it in this form so we could simplify something down so for example 216 to the 4 thirds I'm going to split this 4 thirds as 4 times 1 third and say that that's 216 to the 1 third all to the 4 and that helps because the 1 third power is the cube root and the cube root of 216 is 6 so this is 6 to the 4 which is uh, 1, 2, 9, 6 and now we could of course do this the other way around but we would prefer to do it this way around because it's a lot simpler so what I mean is we could have instead said that 216 to the 4 thirds is equal to 216 to the 4 or to the 1 third but then uh, what we'd have had to do is to find the fourth power of 216 which is 2, 1, 7, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 3, 6 and then taken the cube root of that and in fact the cube root of that is 1296 so it would have been fine but a lot more difficult so another example like that 25 to the 3 over 2 well I could write that either as 25 cubed to the half or to keep it simple we'll do it as 25 to the 1 half cubed because 25 to the 1 half is the square root of 25 so that's 5 cubed which is 125 another one we've got here so 27 to the minus 5 thirds well I'm going to write it as 27 to the 1 third all to the minus 5 and we'll think about the minus in a second but 27 to the 1 third is the cube root of 27 so that's 3 to the minus 5 and hopefully you know that if you've got a minus in the index uh, that means you take the reciprocal of it so 3 to the minus 5 is 1 over 3 to the 5 and 3 to the 5 is 243 so that's 1 over 243 here we've got 1 49th to the minus 3 over 2 and you know we can do these in in any order but we'll try and pick an order to make it as, as easy as possible so this time actually I'll uh, use the do the minus bit first so actually you might just think of this as 1 49th to the minus 1 all to the 3 over 2 because 1 49th to the minus 1 just means the reciprocal of that so that's just 49 then to the 3 over 2 uh, and that's 49 to the 1 half cubed 49 to the 1 half is the square root of 49 which is 7 and 7 cubed is 343 okay here's a really hard one uh, 0 0.81 to the minus 3 over 2 uh, it might help if we write 0 0.81 as 81 over 100 because uh, then we can deal with the minus bit uh, quite easily because that's then 81 over 100 to the minus 1 to the 3 over 2 so the reciprocal of 81 over 100 turn the fraction upside down gives 100 over 81 and then the 3 over 2 will split up as to the half cubed so this is the square root of 100 over 81 now the square root of a fraction is the square root of the numerator divided by the square root of d the denominator so this is uh, 10 divided by 9, square root of 100 is 10, square root of 81 uh, is 9. If you multiplied uh, 10 over 9 by 10 over 9, you can see you get uh, 100 over 81. And then uh, we cube that to get uh, 1000 over 729, just doing uh, 10 cubed, which is 1000, divided by 9 cubed, which is 729.